Well, back in 2018, we Floridians amended our constitution to give crime victims more rights and protection because our criminal justice system is really intentionally defendant focused, I think as it should be because all of my clients are presumed innocent. That's how our country works. But Marcy's law tips the scale a bit and gives more protection to victims. Still a balancing act here. And the law can be broken up into two sections. First, we've got a victim's bill of rights. And second, we've got some extra stuff a victim can ask for. The big bill of rights says, look, victims have a right to due process, to be treated fairly and with respect. Second, they have the right to be free from intimidation, harassment. Third, they have the right to be reasonably protected, right, from the accused. And fourth, they, their safety should be considered when bond is set. And finally, they cannot have information disclosed that would be used to locate or harass them. And I think we already had all this stuff before, but now we have a constitutional amendment saying the same thing. Now, the second set of Marcy's Law rights are triggered upon request. You gotta ask for these things. And that is the right of victims to be notified of all the proceedings in a case and the right for the victim to be heard at those court proceedings and the right for the victim to talk to a prosecutor you know, regarding the proceeding and the right to enforce these. You can force the prosecutor to talk to you. Good luck with that, but apparently you can do it. So if you're a victim of a crime and you'd like to exercise your rights under Marcy's Law, we defense attorneys file a notice with the court and it triggers some of the processes that we just mentioned. I do wish you luck on your situation and I thank you for watching. Take care.